No way. <laughs> okay. Okay, she's back. I don't know why she froze like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if the audio sync one more time. <laughs> Okay, it's still synced. I don't know why the camera froze. <laughs> That's why, everybody, make sure you're not wearing bad stuff in front of your webcam ever. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is 11.04. I'm live on time. I almost was late because I got a phone call right before. I was doing um, girl boss shit. But today, plan is simple. Classic piece in Mario Kart stream. Maybe next week I'll do something more themed, but I just wanted something more chill today because I got to do errands later. Ooh, look at this. Also, I'm still recovering. I got my COVID booster and then my flu booster yesterday, so my arm is still... <laughs> it hurts to, like, lift it higher than that, so I'm going to rest today after I do errands, but, you know, it'd be like that. Before we get started, big announcement. Actually, that is not the announcement. <laughs> I will be doing a subathon this Saturday. If you don't know how subathons work, for every single subscription, gifted sub, prime sub, or bit cheer, it will add time to the timer, and stream ends when the timer ends. 
It is a 12 hour cap, so y'all can make me go live for a 12 hour straight, like a maniac. So that'll be starting this Saturday at 10 a.m. Be there. If you aren't there, you're a scrub. Also, I assigned you Little Chatter's homework over the weekend. Um, did anybody submit a clip under this post? I know we had one person do it. Oh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Because Twitch Public Access, which is like the Twitch little show they do every month, they will showcase streamer clips that are viewers submitted. So guys, if you're a real fan, submit a clip. Okay? Okay. Um, it is on my Twitter profile. And I, I quote tweeted it to make it a bit easier for me to find too. Anything else? Any other drama? I don't think so. Let me think. Oh, also, Emmy is doing a subathon on Saturday as well. So we might get to overlap a little bit. Hmm, anything else? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I can't think of anything really. I mean, it feels weird because I did a sub only last night and I streamed until like 8.30, so I'm kind of tired. I should not have streamed that late, but you know what? I'm here to play some Mario Kart Classic. I'm going to warm up with some of the computers as normal and then do online. You know the rules. If I get first in online, chat gets a sub. Um... I should really practice 150, but I don't want to. 150 is not fun. Like, at all. Oh, wait, there's only two characters up. Okay, I know one of them is Diddy Kong. Please let the other be Funky Kong. No spoilers, spoilers equals 10 year ban. I haven't played Rosalind in a long time. Oh, also, I've no Joy Cons. My sugar daddy bought them for me. So hopefully these don't break. <laughs> um, I think I need to practice all the most recent DLCs. So we'll start with that today. This track is so pretty, I can't get over it. Thank you for the follow, plus one! Thank you! Can we get some yo's? So I was playing Mario Kart with my sister the other night, and she's, to put it nicely, very bad. And she kept on, on, she kept on insisting that we play online ranked, and her rank is literally only like 1800, and I, I have a 7000 rank, which is like not the best, but I'm like decent. So, it was queuing me up in lobbies with people who had like a thousand points. So I was like crushing, right? Okay, I'm not used to this at all. Because uh, I don't have my little controller for the Joy-Cons. Or the holder. Ninth place, Omega Dance. Anyway, so it kept queuing me up with, in lobbies with her with people who had super low rank. And because of that, we kept on getting like literally 50cc and 100cc matches. And whenever I play on my own, I usually play 200. And usually whenever I do ranked, I get 150 or mirror lobbies. So having to switch between faster CCs to 100 is insanely difficult for me. Because the way you handle at different CCs, at the way you handle at different CCs is totally different. And I, I'm not good at slower CCs because it relies more on like acceleration than like drifting in my opinion and with like slower CCs versus faster CCs where it's more dependent on like your actual just core skill so I kept on getting like 8th, 10th, and like the 100 CC lobbies and I was so embarrassed okay I might have to switch to my pro controller because I, I cannot play with the handheld Joy-Cons. <laughs> I'll switch in a second. Cause I should not be this bad. Oh dude, I forgot I had items. Okay, I'm switching. I don't know why I'm so bad.
Oh yeah, also, my sister gave me her Pro Controller to use, so... Okay, I'm gonna switch them. I can't do it. Screw it. Okay, they're switched. I think it's because, like, the way I grip it. I grip it like this, like, holding the Joy-Cons, it's more of a grip like this. So I think it's harder on my wrist. It's fine. It's aight. Get back to Mario Kart. Now I have no excuse. <laughs> Dude, third place, L. Big L. 11-11, make a wish, everyone. my arm I'm so glad I don't usually get like severe side effects from vaccines like the most I'll have is like a little bit of fatigue and a little bit of like muscle pain but that's normal like I've never had a fever there was one time my dad got the flu vaccine I think it was like two years ago and he had a really bad fever but that's normal so I'm lucky I love getting vaccines <laughs> fill me up with that shit <laughs> Oh, I did not mean to use it. I thought it was a red show. Just the way that- I Oh my god, the way that I see items is like by color first. Also, this is 200. Easy? I'm also not used to handling a heavier character. I usually don't play Rosalina. Cause Link used to be my main. And for the longest time, I didn't really see him as a heavy set character. Same with Rosalina. I usually will go with Peach or Mario. Oh, easy! I usually go with Peach or Mario now. Specifically, the metal versions, because it's a flex. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. <laughs> Peach. I tried the trick, it didn't work. Also, I fixed my internet settings a little bit. Um, cause <laughs> the last stream I did on Friday, there's four bots. Low now. I still don't know why that was happening. It probably was an internet issue. Cause I adjusted some settings in OBS. And I updated all my drivers. Embarrassing. Anyway, what was it saying? Internet. So hopefully stream goes okay today. It should. I swear. Ever since I changed to OBS, it's been great. Stream looks pretty good for considering streaming from a laptop. But I don't know. It, it seems every single time there's like a minor update available with my laptop, it just causes everything to break. I'm good at this game, I promise. Put me in, coach. Because whenever I have to check for updates, I have to check um, my actual system updates and my settings. I have to check um, Dell updates and NVIDIA updates. So, like, I have to check three applications. And, like, I'll be honest, half the time I forget to check one of them. Like, I updated my laptop Friday morning. At like 7 and I checked my Dell settings and my Windows settings, but I forgot to check NVIDIA. And it was like another main studio driver for NVIDIA that I didn't download. And I think that literally was causing all the problems. <laughs> but you know what? It's good now. I streamed last night and there was no issues. <laughs> okay. I think... Okay. <laughs> I've been thinking of like just silly stream ideas and one of the ones I have in my back pocket which is like the dumbest idea ever is nice doing a stream when I like intentionally mute myself and just do like a normal stream but I'm muted the whole time but then anytime okay so what, what I would also do nobody leaked this idea or steal it I might do it for April Fools I don't know um, 
I would block the word mute in the chat. Or phrases like, we can't hear you. <laughs> Just to, like, lean into the bit. I don't know how else I do it. Uh -huh. Help. Because I need to do more silly streams. I'm taking it way too seriously. I just play Mario Kart. Which is not a kid's game. It's not. I hate that line. Easy first. World's best gamer. I really need to work on getting the three stars for these pre's. I'm kind of lacking. Saturday was the first day of fall, and I literally had no clue. Because living in Washington State, every day feels like fall. It's either overcast or rainy, and then it's like sunny for two weeks in summer. That's all we get here. But finally, it was like chilly enough for me to start wearing like winter coats. And it feels so nice. Our AC is still broken, so it was cold as fuck last night. <laughs> like I finally had to break up my comforter. Because I don't necessarily feel like comfier in longer sleeves. I don't like the feeling or the texture of it sometimes when I wear them. I think they do look nicer. Ooh, that was an insane dodge. But I finally get to wear sweatshirts again. <laughs> okay, I wasn't looking. <laughs> what is going on? Saved? Noted, if you are being picked up by Lakitu and there's lightning bolt, you don't get shocked. I didn't know that. Whenever there's blue shells, I usually don't wait, but I was like, I'll try it this time. So mean, they literally throw red shells behind them all the time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Banana <in> my stone. <laughs> Variety streamer. I like forget how to play a game the moment I play a different one. Hi, <laughs> Duna. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Welcome in. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. You should also have some cool free emotes for my channel. So put your favorite one in chat. <laughs> Me not moving at the start. And also, when I was playing with my sister the other night, she insisted on watching every single replay from every race we did. Dude, she's a child. But she's- how old is she? She's 22. She's gonna be 30, 20- I almost said 33. Oh, mega long. From TikTok? Let's go! We heckin' love TikTok. Cool. Have you been a long time TikTok frog or did you just find my channel? Yeah, I'm too- I don't want to do a heavy character. I go Bobo! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? I 
I'll do Wiggler. For the fans. I hate this pre. It's the worst. You know what else I hate? Nothing. I'm a very positive person. Okay, lines weren't too bad. The only reason why I shut up was because, like, I need to practice that first section. It's really windy. Like, I try my best to keep talking, but it's kind of hard sometimes. I was literally editing a clip for TikTok the other day, and I was talking about, like, how whenever I stream, it's very easy to get oversensitized. Because there's like auditory input, there's the game, and then like glancing at my computer screen to reach out and stuff. It can get kind of overwhelming. But the way I have my setup, it's not. Because like if I had to move my head, I think that'd be too much for me. Because there's literally been some days where I had a different stream setup to where I had to like have my laptop in a different spot in my room. Oh my god, what happened? I'm in sixth place now. And I literally got dizzy having to like turn my head to look at OBS or my chat. That's also why I'm really hesitant to get a second monitor. Because I- oops. I know it'd be unavoidable. To not have to turn my head! That's so mean. It's really hard to get everything going with OBS. Yeah, when I first streamed, I <laughs> I streamed off of Twitch Studio, which is like Twitch's branded streaming service. It's very like limited, um, but it's free, really easy to like use. I used it for like I think a year and a half or about a year before before I switched to OBS. And like all the different customization for customization options for OBS is <laughs> like too much almost. But a lot of it comes down to like just customizing and seeing what's, what works best for your PC or laptop. But even now I'm still like adjusting some settings. Like I think I have the best- Oops! I did not mean to use it! Oopsie! I think I have the best configuration for my laptop right now. The only thing I wish I could do would be able to, like, record the streams as they're broadcasted, just so I can get, like, a, high, a slightly higher res. Oh yeah, OBS is free. It is free, sorry. Just to clarify, it is free. Yeah, that time I held B instead of tapping, and it came out a bit better. Also, guys, don't ever buy, like, the premium, I guess, alerts or banners, because those type of branding imagery does not really matter for stream content. Fuck! <laughs> like, I made all my stream assets, and they're all pretty primitive. But you, you don't need to, like, commission shit. You don't need to buy custom assets. The only assets I bought were sub badges. But that's because, like, I don't do illustration as much anymore. Hi, Tanuki! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Hello! Streamlabs is just wonky? Yeah, I... I downloaded Labs and OBS. 
right when I first started streaming, just to like see all the different softwares, but they were like way too complex for me, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just do Twitch Studio. But for some reason, like Twitch Studio required more processing power than like OBS, which to me is wild. So OBS is like, it has like the least amount of strain on my laptop. Okay, this is the worst track, hands down. Prove me wrong. I've been getting so many comments on my YouTube. I say this every week, but I always get a good handful every once in a while. Of oh, people being like, inside drift bike skull emoji. And I'm like, no, I'm never gonna change to a bike. Or I mean, to a car. It's too hard. Too much of a mental hurdle. Not a like change. I'm traumatized. <laughs> what do you think people would Google search about you? Oh no. <laughs> um. What would people search? It's like, it's like the wired videos. I mean, I don't think I have enough clout for people to Google me yet. Okay, I think realistically the most common thing would be Peace in 17 Art, because I do make art. But I guess Stream would be a common thing? It is interesting, like, I'll look in my YouTube analytics and sometimes people find my videos by, like, searching my name in the YouTube, like, search bar. So that's always been interesting. Like, not many of my returning viewers are from, like, my actual subscriptions are my channel page, it's just people searching my name to find the video. <laughs> or, let's be honest, I'm gonna get in some controversy one day and that's gonna become the top result. Guys, don't worry, it won't happen. I'm a goody good. <laughs> Does peace in 17 have real gameplay footage? I get a another good handful of comments being like AI generated video. And I think the only reason why people say that is because it's just like trendy to say it. And then also like when I when I talk my lips don't move very much, so like it looks like an AI generated like film, right? And also, my camera is like slightly, slightly desynced because of the capture card. Because I've gotten a comment be like, another AI girl skull emoji. I had one the other day that I just insta deleted. It was like, stop making this AI generated shit. It's <laughs> just like, what? Fuck me. Oh my god. Um, guys, if you yourself are not fake and not an AI, follow the channel! We are 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're here, click the follow button! You get to type in chat and get cool emotes. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way, you don't miss a single stream! That's never happened to me. If AI can get that good, I'd be scared. No, I think it's getting there. Deepfakes are pretty crazy. I do wonder what the legislation will be around it. Like, I think, like, parody AI work is totally fine. Because that, to me, if they censor that, then that's, like, censoring free speech. But I think there should be, like, some type of national registry to where you have, like, your name on a list of, like, do not make an AI of me smile. Which I would opt for. Who uses AI to make gameplay TikTok content? I know! It's like, out of everything I could make, why would I make, like, the lowest tier content? Like, come on. I'm on the wrong side. And if I had, like, an AI to make my videos, why would I make my AI, like, so bad at Mario Kart? Let's be honest. One of your friends made used AI to make videos and he popped off. Hey, can I get some of his clout? <laughs> Please? Asking for a friend.
I don't think AI is evil. I just don't like when people use one's likeness without consent or other people's work without consent. Because AI can be good. Like, if you, you'll see it in, like, um, how they make auto-generated captions for videos on YouTube or whatever. Um, you'll see it in Photoshop where it automatically crops out the subject from the picture. Like, that is making the creative process more efficient and then also more accessible content. I just don't like when it's used to exploit other people, I think is the best way to phrase it. Which can include, like, making inappropriate content, um, using people's likeness without consent, using people's artistry without consent. I have three stars in those trophies already. Okay. Three months when I get three star gold trophies in the new DLCs. Yes. Pink gold peach for nostalgia. And guys, do not worry. I will do a ranking Mario Kart tier list whenever the full DLC is out. I promise. If I don't get a first, I'm just gonna reset. Like that that is gonna be my goal today. <laughs> Getting first in these tracks. We talked about this last night for the sub only stream, but I want you guys to think about what tones or what you feel whenever you watch my streams or content. I know I have like three tones that I want to convey because to me in order to make something that has meaning you have to have some type of like, not mean or ulterior, just like some type of substance to it. I know I want myself and also the people who watch the lives to feel some form of- wait, what were the words we came up with? Like, I think playful is a really good word, because, you know, we have fun. I think thoughtfulness is one of the main things. Because I want people to, like, be thinking. Like, I don't want this to just be mind-numbing content, you know? I don't want you to veg out. I want you to be thinking when you're engaging. And the last one is just my own expression and voice. Like, I want to be able to have an outlet to where I can share my stories. And then also people can share theirs. Because I don't want to feel like what I'm doing is for nothing. You know what I mean? So I try to like implement those three tones into whatever I do creatively. Because you know, I got a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> and I gotta make sure I'm working towards something. Tranquil? You're just stealing wolves' words, Kobobo. Not gonna lie, most of the TikToks I get from you gives me podcast vibes. I just listen instead of watching. See, that is like what the TikTok is supposed to be along with the YouTube shorts. Because whenever I edit those down, like I usually edit down like a Mario Kart or an Animal Crossing stream. And I specifically repost clips that show like me talking about something. Because that leans into like the thoughtfulness or voice, I guess, tone. Because I want people to not... Okay. Usually the clips that do really well, like the ones that pop up, or... Or are... Wait, sorry. Are when I talk about something really relatable, or like... A very unique gaming moment. Like, when I got first in Fortnite, or my first ever Fall Guys crown. Or like, if I title the clip... Like, Insane Clutch! Usually those do really well. But those aren't necessarily reflective of like what 
the stream content is. Because usually whenever I play Mario Kart, like if anybody's been watching for a good amount of time, you kind of know, like we just talk about random ass shit. And so if, if I only post clips where it's like me having like insane gamer moments and somebody watches the stream, it's not going to be the same. So that's why like I purposely choose to repost clips of me just talking. Because it's it's more reflective of what the stream is actually like. And it's also really nice going back and editing those clips because it makes me feel like I'm able to share something. God damn it! I hate this track! Wait, I said if I don't get first, I'm resetting. God and me and me! Get him! Oh, he's too far ahead. I'm resetting. Three months when I get three stars in the new DLC mods. Change the title. Hashtag not clickbait. <laughs> yeah, Daisy Cruiser is the hardest one on this pre. God damn, I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. <laughs> another friend pointed out to me that my tiktok clips are like mini podcasts and they were telling me they're like they were looking at they were that they were excited to like what i would post the next day be like oh i wonder what peace is going to talk about today and it was really cute That almost worked. I'm still practicing that skip. Also, on Saturday's Subathon, I will be doing Mario Kart with viewers at some point during the day. So if you want to play, make sure you're watching on Saturday. Because usually I only do playing with viewers for subs, but you know, I'll open the floodgates for the Subathon. Which is only fair. Do big L. <laughs> Stop, this is horrible. Not bad, I usually throw at that part. I'm not going to talk at all during this daisy race because I genuinely need to focus. No distractions. I will not talk. <laughs> I should do a no talking stream. <laughs> but what the gimmick be? <clears throat> I would so easily crack, though. I know my- Oh wait, I said I wasn't gonna talk!
Screw this. This is dumb. Y'all don't know how hard it was to not talk. <laughs> Because, like, I'm naturally introverted, but whenever I turn stream mom, I try to be, like, more on. This is so dumb. I hate Daisy's cruise ship. Dude, I, okay. My goal is to beat this within two more attempts. If it takes more than two more, I'm going to be really sad. I'm going to cry on stream, not even kidding. Unless... I'm gonna get really good at Athens Dash. Ooh, okay, I got it. Do you ever eat food way past the cell date? Yeah, you know, growing up a broke, you kind of got to do that sometimes. My rule of thumb is if something smells good and it's not discolored, then it's fine. Like if, if like, if it's a meat or a dairy that's like a week or two past due and it smells fine, then it's usually fine. But if it's like, it, it obviously depends on what it is. But usually, if it's a year past, then I won't touch it. Usually meat, if it's discolored, then it's bad. That's your general rule of thumb. Easy! Also, make sure before you take anything home from the shop, make sure none of like the seals are broken or the cans are dented. I know it seems pretty simple, but... Dude, there's been so many times where, like, my sister, I'll ask her to buy something really quick, and she'll buy, like, a broken package. And I'm like, you're literally so fucking dumb. <laughs> this is why you're not in charge of the grocery shopping. Okay, I'm not talking. I'm focusing. 